going on there throttle lockers welcome to another one of my videos got a little something that's been on my brain today but before i get into that if you like my videos hit that thumbs up if you want to see more make sure that you hit that subscribe down below but be sure to hit that little guardian bell to protect you from all the videos that you're going to be missing out on all right so today i've had this on my brain and i don't know what the actual definition would be or but this is really my opinion of it but the thing that's been on my mind today is what makes a biker a biker well i know a lot of people are like oh well it depends on the bike that you have and all this and that well guess what i, I don't believe in that at all i believe that if you have two wheels underneath you and that wind is about the same in any place that you are at that is being a biker that is being out riding and what i mean by that is i don't talk about like a guy who buys a bike and only rides it a couple times a year or barely puts anything on it i'm talking about the guys that ride all year round no matter what the brand is or what the temperature is outside or the conditions they just get out to ride like today it rained most of the day and yeah i've been out uh been at work but i mean it's still got chances of raining on my way back to the house it's it just i got out to ride because i i ride i like to ride i ride quite a bit and i i just i just think that if you're on two wheels you might as well uh enjoy it no matter what but to me my definition of being a biker really is like here here's a way that i can explain it to make it more understandable of what i'm trying to talk about and like you have you know you're a biker whenever you have that itch and not just the the oh i have a motorcycle i wish i could get out and ride itch because everybody has that when they have a motorcycle okay even if you ride all the time or you don't ride all the time you still have that itch of like man i got this motorcycle sitting here really want to get out on it but you know the itch i'm talking about is the one where yeah you're not out under your bike but you hear another one go by or just hear one in the distance and then it just gives you that itch of like oh god i need to get out of my bike and go or you get the itch of you know what today's going to be a crappy day of weather but i still have to get out and ride because i have to it's one of those like you, you can't you can't try to say oh it's okay it's not a big deal because to some people it isn't they don't they don't have to ride all year round because they don't have that constant itch of being on two wheels i mean it, it, it's freaking just amazing how i've met uh, several people who who get that itch like i do because i get it every day and it, it sucks because there's some days that the weather's so severe that i'm like i i'm not gonna ride but at the same time it's really nice that on days like this i got the itch this morning when i woke up and i said screw it i'm gonna ride no matter what the weather was like and yeah did it rain of course but i still got out i still got to ride and I mean, I, I was kind of dreading that I was going to have to ride home in the rain and all, but oh well. I mean, I had to get out and get on this bike and go. But, I mean, honestly, there's, there's very many different ways to tell a biker from the ones that don't really ride a whole lot. Alright, but now there's your hardcore bikers that you have that'll ride in no matter what the condition is. Now those guys, a lot of them are nuts when it comes to the weather that they'll drive in. I mean, I, I'm, I do some uh, rough weather, but I don't do uh, some of the stuff that they do, all right? I mean, I've ridden in snow, I've ridden in rain and all, and I mean, I'll do it, but I don't really necessarily want to. But then you got the guys that are like me, who like to ride a lot, who really just has to get out and fucking go because it it's like to me this is my therapy this is my way of relieving stress and things that bound up in my head and that I, I just i don't know what i should do i hop on my bike and i ride until i figure out a situation that 
will be best for my problem. So to me, this is therapeutic, and I love being on my bike. But then you got the guys that are uh, more of social riders, or better known as weekend warriors. Well, those guys, there's nothing wrong with them, because a lot of them either have uh, really, really busy jobs that they have to constantly be there for, and or just a lot of stuff going on in their life. And that that's fine. But I do understand that some guys that are the social riders, that, that, I get it. I mean, we all got things going on in our life that we can't always control. So you don't always get to be out on your bike. That's fine. But then there is the last kind that I absolutely cannot stand. And that's the guys who buy a motorcycle let it sit in the garage or under a tarp for 99.95% of the year. Now, the reason why it pisses me off is because I like motorcycles, okay? I actually, no, I fucking love motorcycles. I love them. And I hate seeing a bike just sitting there rotting away, not getting anything done with it. That shit just irritates me, man. If you're not going to ride that bike, get rid of it. Give it to someone who will enjoy it a lot more. Don't let that beautiful machine just rot away. Because honestly, that's just not right. Like if you got a bike because you wanted to get out and fucking ride, awesome. But don't get a bike just to say, oh yeah, I got me a Harley. Oh man, I never see you on it. Well, you know, I, I didn't feel like getting out on it today. Well, if you if that's your main excuse a lot, go ahead and sell it. Get rid of the thing because I know for a fact that me myself would buy that bike just because I know that it is a gorgeous bike that needs to be out on the road. It doesn't need to be stuck uh, in a stationary position just melting into the earth again. I mean, no. We extracted all the material out of the earth and man-made products as well to build these machines. So, if they were built to be ridden, why are they just sitting? You know, I don't know. But to me, that is what I believe of the definitions of a true biker are. If you have that itch, hell yeah, I, I can relate with you on that, all right? Well, you have to be out. You got your hardcore riders that ain't afraid to be out there no matter what. That's cool, I get that. You got your social riders, awesome. Then you have your, well, those garage guys but let me know down below what you uh consider as your definition of what a biker is uh by all means just let me let me hear it because everybody has a different view of what a biker is and so there's nothing wrong with actually getting your statement out there and uh i mean hell that's what uh internet's for nowadays I guess <laughs> just talking about whatever you want to because it should, you want to but I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna head to the house get me a beer and uh, some good food in my stomach and I'm gonna relax for the night but don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to hit that subscribe and share let, let, let your other friends see this so they can put in their two cents of what they think a biker is but I'm getting the hell out of here. But always remember, keep those throttles locked, those tires hot. But never, ever forget, keep that rubber down. I'll catch y'all next time.